Hi, this is Mr. Wedge, and in this video we're going to talk about Leonardo da Vinci's drawings. So Leonardo da Vinci is very famous. He painted the Mona Lisa and a few other paintings, not very many though. But he had thousands and thousands of drawings that we still have in notebooks. And, uh, you know, they're 500 year old drawings. Uh, we're going to be drawing some machines today. But before we do that, we want to make some paper that looks like it's from the Renaissance, which is so we're going to make some 500 year old looking paper. So I got a big brush, and when I say big, I just mean the bristles. You know, they're nice and wide. Uh, we don't care about the handle right now, but the bristles are nice and wide, so I'm, I'll cover my paper more qu quickly. So we're going to stain this paper because Leonardo's uh, paper is very, very old now. It wasn't when he had it, but. Um, over time paper turns kind of yellow. I feel like it turns kind of yellow So I got some yellow paint maybe a little brown because it kind of it'll give it that uh, antique look So I've also got a paper towel and a bucket with some water in it, and you don't want to fill it more than halfway for this uh, But just get some water and I'm gonna pour the yellow tempera paint right in the water just squirt a little bit in You can do this with your team put a little brown paint in you could also add orange to this, whatever you think, whatever you think would look, make it look old. Maybe a touch of green. Oh, I made a mistake, I got a smudge on there, no. It's okay, because we're gonna make this look old, so if you made a mistake or a scratch or a smudge, or, it's not a big deal. Just make sure you put your name on the back first and your class code, Mr. Wedge, and then also write your class code, flip it over. We only need to stain one side of the paper, but put a little bit of your old looking colors in your water. Stir it up. This is called a wash. And we're going to use this wash to make uh, antique looking paper from 500 years ago. It's going to look like it's from the Renaissance. So you and your group can work together and figure out how you want it to look. If it doesn't look right, you can always add more of a different color. but. As long as it's a neutral, a warm neutral color, you're good. So think about warm neutral color. You could add a little black to it. Totally up to you. Don't want to go too dark. That's why it's mostly water. And then we're just going to stain our paper. So big brush, spread it all over. It's really fun, really easy. But then we'll have some antique paper we can work on before we do anything else. Just make sure you get all the white. We're trying to trick people. We don't want them to think it's from 2000. Whatever it is, we want them to think it's from 15 whatever, or 14 whatever. There we go. So once you've stained your paper, then wipe it. And this will help give it texture and it'll help dry it quicker. Oh man, I just crinkled it. That's even better. We want it to look old. Don't rip it into pieces or anything, but you can crumple it a little bit. There we go. 500 year old paper. So, will this dry that real quick set it aside and then we'll come back and we'll do something else so I'm gonna let this dry for five or ten minutes <laughs> alright so my papers all dry and I cleaned up my area I got all my paint cleaned up and my water put away and my paper looks really old and it's dry so I can draw on it now but we're gonna be drawing some of the machines that Leonardo uh, invented he there not a lot of these machines got built but Leonardo was a true genius and he invented some amazing things bicycles scissors uh, early uh, examples of like the airplane or the helicopter he lived 500 years ago so a lot of these things didn't get made during his lifetime or ever but what a genius so we're gonna be drawing machines and they're kinda of complicated but they're also very fun to draw and we're gonna invent some and make them up so I've got a pencil and my dry antique paper and I've also got some junk that I got from yard sales it's just metal machine parts like this knob right here and this crazy valve thing that I found and it's like a switch eh, like this and I, I don't know what you know but we're gonna use these to inspire us so we'll set them up on the table just trust me pretend they're still there and uh, we'll look at them like a still life and we're gonna draw on this so I'm just gonna look at this thing that I that valve thing and I see these shapes here 
And if you see the side of something, that's even better. So not just the front of something, but the side of it too. See how I just added that line? Now it looks like I can see the front and the side. So like this, I can see the front of it, and I can see the side. Maybe there's a hole right here. Maybe this is split into sections, and it's got these lines to make it look like it's a nut or something. See that? Just looking at the shapes I see. And you can invent stuff. I, You know, I, you don't have to draw it exactly like it shows. Like I see this, but I'm not going to draw it that way. But I do like this part. So, and I like that it's tilted too. So I'll just simplify it. And I'm just drawing a simplified version of what I see. And there's a bolt that holds it on right there. And maybe I see the other sides of that. And maybe I'll just turn this into a box to keep it simple. But if it's a box, then I'm going to want to see the side of it too. So I'll just add the little side that I can see. See that? So that's the front. That's the side. You can split things into sections like that. Um, I want to draw this knob, so I'm going to look at it. But in 3D, it wouldn't be a circle, it'd be an oval, right? See how it kind of flattens out? So a circle, when you look at it at an angle, turns into an oval. So uh, Leonardo was really good at making things look three-dimensional. So I'm just going to kind of take a cue from him and make this into an oval. Now I'm just drawing those little ribs that I see on this knob thingy. And I'll draw the middle part of it, too. There's a hole. What is this thing? What does it do? I don't know. I just want to draw some machine parts and try to make them look 3D. So just like I added the edges to things, you can do the same thing on a circle or an oval. Even on the little parts. Here's the front, here's the side. Right? Here's the front, here's the side. Here's the front, here's the side. Here's the front, here's the side. Now it looks more 3D. Here's the side of that middle part. So I'm just making it up as I go, but I'm looking at the objects, and whenever I can make them look more 3D, I'm going to. And then uh, you could figure out ways to connect them too. Maybe there's like a pipe that kind of comes down through here, takes a curve, and goes in here. I could even add a little elbow right here. So if I draw a line and a line, and then I connect them like this, maybe there's an elbow, and that makes it look even more like a machine. And then I can erase this part. So it's okay if it looks sketchy and scratchy and messed up, just whenever you can, try to add the sides of things. If it's round, don't worry about it. Like, um, this ball is round. I wouldn't draw the side of it unless it was a cylinder. Right? So let's say I had a wheel right here with another part coming off to hold it. I don't know what it does, but it doesn't matter. But if this is a ball, I wouldn't draw the side. It's a, you know, it's a ball. It doesn't have a side. It's all one side. But this is a flat object, so I can see the side. Well, if it was a disc, then it would be a flat object. But I can't tell the difference between these two until I do this. I just drew the side. And now that looks like a flat circle and this looks like a sphere so we're just gonna draw parts and just get inspired by what's on the table and the more parts you have and the more 3d you make it look the cooler it's gonna be so don't worry about shading or anything today we're gonna talk about that next time just try to fill your paper with some machine parts and don't forget to put your name on it work hard have fun